In this video, I'm going to show you my Panasonic S1 rig. I'll tell you all the components that are in here, why I got them and how they fit together. So stay tuned for a full teardown of this. So before I start, I'm going to tear this down to the bare minimum, so I've just got the camera and the lens and we'll start building up from there. Right, so we've now got the camera down to its bare minimum, which is literally just the body and the lens. We're going to start making up the rig. So the first thing that I have to do is take off the lens hood from here so that we can put on the first component, which is the camera cage. Now, it just so happens that all the parts that I have bought are from Small Rig. This video is not sponsored by them. It just so happens that for what I needed, the Small Rig products were exactly what I wanted. So this cage is going to provide protection to our camera. It's going to provide loads of mounting holes and it gives an extra cold shoe mount as well and a NATO rail so you can add parts onto. And this particular one even has a hole so you can access the battery without having to take the camera out of the cage. So let's just start by putting this through. And securing this, it comes with a included magnetic and little mini screw driver part. Now, there is another connection point on here which mounts the, the little corners on the camera where you would put on your camera strap. So you have to take off those little parts, the little triangles or the round or uh, kind of square parts that you have so you can feed this little screw into the camera cage. So it secures it from two points, from the bottom and this particular part. So this cage now sits on the camera. That is not going to slip or swivel in any way within that cage. Now two accessories, again from Small Rig, are these quick release adapters that I've uh, I've put on so that I can quickly put on a, a, either a wrist strap or the neck strap. And they can be taken off when I need to. Um, and I've put two on this side so I can have my neck strap around and I can also have my wrist strap if necessary. And then we can put the hood back on. Now I have a Weebless gimbal, which comes with a Arca Swiss type mounting plate. So I'm going to put this on the bottom of the cage so that I can take this off the gimbal. And then I can also put it onto any sort of a tripod, which has a, an Arca Swiss type mounting plate. So this again, goes with two screws onto the bottom. The next item on my list is a side handle by, again, Small Rig, which fits onto the NATO rail on the cage on the side. So you literally, you just slide it on and you tighten up the screw. Now this will allow you to have a dual grip on your camera so that you can have more stable footage if you don't want to use a gimbal. And because this entire rig actually makes the camera heavier, you will get stable footage because of the added weight. This side grip also includes some more mounting points and an additional cold shoe mount. Hey, if you're finding this video useful or if you're enjoying it as much as I am making it, then make sure you hit the like button and the subscribe button to keep notified 
of any future videos that I do. The next thing on the list is the top handle. Now this has got RE locating holes. So you just screw in the top handle and that pushes down the two locating pins so that the handle doesn't twist left or right. That's a really good way of securing. And it comes with a little, um, little Allen key so you can just slide it through the little holes and lock it and tighten it even further. That allows you to hold the camera from the top and then you can do low shots um, it's you know you can just hold it this way as well. I've also added another quick release adapter on to the back of this so that I can have my wrist strap. So let me just show you. This is the wrist strap that I have and as I mentioned before I can have the wrist strap on me here so that I can even lift up the whole camera from the wrist strap with no danger of it falling. Then, when I'm holding it on the top handle, I can just clip this on, and again, hold this, and let's just say, if it did fall out of my hand, it nicely is secured. The next item on the list is a small rig base. Now this has got two holes for 15 millimeter rods. And then I've just mounted on a little Arca Swiss quick release onto it so that I can put the Arca Swiss quick release onto here and fasten it and take it off the base when I need to. I'm then going to use two rods with two rod clamps. So one rod clamp has got another Arca Swiss quick release on here so that if I do need to put this onto a tripod with a, uh, an Arca Swiss type connection I can clamp it on as well. And then on the other one I've put on um, or I've screwed on a little cold shoe mount and you'll see why in a second. So this literally goes into that and tightens via the screws on the side. Now this is where the cold shoe mount comes in. So I have a cold shoe mount monitor mount which I can just slide on and using my monitor I now have an articulating screen with my monitor. Now this allows me to have my monitor at any angle that I need. And with the, the rods moving in further if I have to or slightly further out if I have to, that leaves me enough clearance for my screen to come out on the camera as well as the monitor. So. If I need to, to look in this way, I can. And I still have access to the touchscreen. And there you have it. My rig for my Panasonic S1. And if I want to take this off and put it onto my gimbal, I literally just take off the side handle like that, untighten the thumb screw, and the RE locating holes from the top handle. And take that off. And then undo the Arca Swiss quick release. And then this nicely goes onto the gimbal and packs away into my bag without any issues. You can catch a video about the bag that I put this into up here. So in summary, this rig can be made with any camera. You just need the cage 
for your particular camera and everything else can fit onto that. Small Rig isn't the only company who makes the rigs. I believe there's something called Nicey Rig um, and Tilter as well. However, like I mentioned before, for my needs, the components that came with the Small Rig were what I needed, therefore I bought them. Thank you once again for watching this video. Please make sure you hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already so that you can be kept up to date with all the future videos that I'll be releasing on this channel. Once again, thank you and I'll see you in the next video. Uh, oops.